All right, I am facing a problem with these MPGs. Exactly, I'm facing a problem to connect them with Mark III. So my plan with this video is to explain my doubt and see if anyone out there have an answer for me. Um, so this is my setup. I have this box with two MPGs. These are encoders and a uh, uh, breakout board here to interface with parallel port and I have two parallel ports in my CNC computer this one here is not my CNC computer I'm just so in this one here I have only one uh, parallel port but it's because I'm debugging it so all right and I have this just to test um, um, control board and a small stepper here and so oh, I made this fancy box here it was supposed to whenever I press this button it will be able to change the resolution of for each tick here and also to show uh, power supply and if you are running on MPG or on continuous mode for uh, my machine also has a pendant with buttons for to control each axis. It's a lathe, just to clarify, it's a lathe. So I made brains and macros to control this, and it was and it worked perfectly. I would press this, and then these LEDs would change, and and so on. But now they are not connected because I'm the in it and as I'm facing problems I I want to um, just take from my way every possible source of problem I just want to fix my uh, concentration on on the MPGs for now so just to keep the video short uh, I would try to uh, I'll try to to show the problem I'm facing and all right this is it um, I configured it here the step for 0.01 millimeter and then I tuned the motors and everything but I hear I'm multi-step mode uh, I don't know I'm not sure exactly for why this MPG feed rate here I think it's the maximum feed rate uh, allow it because if I change it to a very small number it will begin to run like in maximum velocity mode if I spin this too much and then it will keep a constant maximum velocity here so but this is a problem I'm facing whenever I have to spin this you see um, if I spin it too fast you see it's it likes kind of be becomes laggy and oscillate and kinds of oscillate whenever I, I overcome a certain feed rate about a hundred millimeters per minute it will get this be weird behavior you know and it's interesting because if I zero it I mean if I put here in zero using this mark here it will end I zero here, of course. I can turn it to whatever side, and then it will go back. If I put it on zero again, it will go back to zero. So at least there, it is not missing ticks from the encoder. But uh, it seems that at certain speed, it will not be able to control the motor in real time and it will like become unstable it will control the motor and then uh, for a certain time and then it will probably I don't know um, just get stuck for too much pulses being sent to the to the board and I don't know I'm also not not the best explainer in the West so there is also this problem I'm not also a native English speaker but this is it, if anyone has 
ever face something like this. Of course, I, I understand that if you turn it too quick, you know, it will not be able to follow. But actually the speed I'm facing this problem is a rather small speed, you see. I don't know, maybe I'm too... too get to, uh, willing to, to get too much perfection from this, but it is definitely not as smooth as I thought it would be when I'm, I plan to, made it, to make it. So uh, this is it, just let me keep this as short as I can. And if anyone out there have some sort of um, advice for me um, or some clue or whatever is happening, because my plan, if it, it doesn't work here, my plan is make a motion controller, independent motion controller. So, I mean, I will read the encoder and control the motor using a separate microcontroller. And I will use Modbus to just feed Mach 3 with the position, you know, just so I won't miss my reference my zero reference so this is my plan because i'm not happy with this result it's too it's not that smooth as i thought it would be i'm building this uh, uh in modbus interface board there is a modbus shield uh, rs485 i mean under this relay board so it, it, it the, the, here is a arduino do 86 megahertz so it's fast enough it's not ready yet, but uh, I have a plan to, if it doesn't work in this way, I mean, sending data to the parallel and then taking back to control the motor, I will use this Modbus in the way I, I, I mentioned uh, before. I will just make a motion controller here and read the encoder, control the motor, just, I mean, mirror this behavior to this to the motor and then now just use Modbus to feed Mach 3 back uh, in order to refresh the position and keep the reference constant yeah so this is it if anyone can help me I'll be happy so bye